everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you real quickly what my breakfast, remember breakfast is my first meal of the day. So it's about almost 5 p.m. Today is May 28th, Thursday, May 28th. And my first meal of the day is going to be a burger. Now you're wondering, wow, this is what she's going to have for her J Lo body challenge meal. Yes, guys, it is. Why? Because I'm actually intermittent fasting. So I'm only having one meal a day. So this burger that I'm going to have is not going to, in my opinion, is not going to do much damage. And I may not even eat the whole thing. So what I'm going to show you is uh, the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Jasenia, take a look. Here is watercress. So instead of lettuce, I'm going to be using watercress. These are cherry tomatoes. I've cooked some white onions here, guys. I only cooked it in water, okay, on a non-stick non -stick skillet. Here I have my, my burger, okay, guys? I've already cooked my burger, and this is the meat that I made to prepare the, um, the um, what was it I did? I did meatballs the other day. I'm using the same, the same um, meat. meat from the meatballs, okay, guys? Remember, I stuck it in the freezer in a previous video. I showed you how to make the meatballs on a spaghetti and meatballs video. And then, um, so I saved the meat for the meatballs and I made a big patty, guys. So that's what it's gonna be used for my burger. And this over here is a melted one slice of American cheese. I'm also gonna be, try I'm actually trying out this bread. It was on sale for $2.99 as, as you can see the ticket. But it's actually, it says Panera bread. Jasenia, Panera bread. No artificial preservative sweeteners, flavors, or colors. And it says whole grain, multi-grain with sunflower seeds and flax. 40 grams of whole wheat per two slices. So that's here, just a I'm going to be, you see, these are the two slices, guys. I'm going to be having this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of, yes, guys, I am going to put a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of ketchup on this, okay? So just on you can This is how much mayonnaise I'm going to be using to spread on this side of the bread. And that is how much ketchup I'm gonna be using to spread on the bread. See, I already spread the ketchup and I already spread the mayonnaise. And as you can see, it's some some of the mayonnaise didn't even cover certain edges, so it's okay. I don't need that much mayonnaise. I'm just gonna add now my onions. I'm just gonna add this here. All right, I'm gonna add my tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. And then I'm gonna put the watercress right smack in the middle here. And then I'm gonna grab my, you see how it looks guys? That's just the cheese, I just added the cheese. Here's my cheese. And then I'm going to smash it. <clears throat> I'm gonna slice it guys and in half and I'm gonna take a bite of it. Yeah, a bite of it. So here I am, I'm gonna grab my burger and I'm gonna give it a try. Actually, you, you show it to them. You see how it looks, guys? This was well, well seasoned. It had a lot of little knickknacks in, inside it. You gotta check out the video, though, <laughs> in order to know what was in my burger. All right, just send it for the camera on my face now. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take a bite. The whole thing with this guys is that because the burger is made very well, it's going to taste good. So even though I put watercress instead of the lettuce, it's still good and it has that crunch that I love. And it has a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of ketchup and then the toasted bread. It's great. This should hold me down until next day because remember it's just one meal guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And actually I have some seltzer water. So I'm going to have this with seltzer water because I like the bubbly taste. So I want to have some of the seltzer water with this burger. All right? Thanks again.